Yo, what's up guys? This is Mike from Mike Does Stuff. Here on my channel, I do a lot of things. So like two weeks ago, I made a, uh, a video on my setup tour and um, it was like a couple of minutes, didn't really get into, into some detail. So this time I got a better camera, I got some better production and we're gonna get crazy. I'm gonna get into detail with some juicy B-roll, maybe some shots of this little girl right here. Foofers, if you guys are interested, say hi. Hello. I give you all the details, all my peripherals, all my, um, my computer specs and everything and we'll get into it. So if you like this type of content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And with all that said, let's get into it. All right guys, so let's get into the computer build. This is a custom built computer by me. I did this in uh, summer of 2020. I bought most of my parts from Micro Center before all the uh, video cards were out of stock. This is a uh, Ryzen 7 3700X 8 core processor. It has 32 gigabytes of G-Skill RIP JAWS, 3200 megahertz clock speed. I'm using a uh, Founders Edition 2070 Super by NVIDIA. Uh, for cooling, I have Cooler Master fans, uh, Cooler Master AIO, Master Liquid V2. Power supply is a Corsair RM850. And the motherboard is an Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus with Wi Fi. And you can see here I have some cable extensions. I believe these are from Inland. I bought them out of a bin in uh, Micro Center. They were about 30 bucks. They came with uh, the 24 pin, the GPU cables, and the uh, extra CPU motherboard cable. I think it just gives it a uh, nicer look and it comes with those cable combs as well. Um, and yeah, I love it. I think it's got enough power to do anything I need to do on a day to day. Um, Editing videos on Premiere is pretty quick. Sometimes I got to use proxies depending on how many layers I got. It gets a little overwhelmed, but gaming, I mean, this runs Warzone at a decent FPS uh, with upscaling to 1440p. Um, geez, Valorant runs like a dream. Uh, you know, my day-to-day -day Microsoft Office, I mean, this is a joke. It runs like perfect. I freaking love this thing, man. For peripherals, I'm using the Glorious GMMK Compact with Cherry MX Brown switches. 
Uh, some people don't like browns, but I used to have a keyboard with blues in it and it was so loud It actually got to the point where my wife had to close the bedroom door because she could hear me while I was uh, working away on the computer late at night uh, For the mouse. I have a glorious model D minus. This is the smaller version um, Personally, I think I might want either a model O or a full-size model D It just feels a little bit small in the hand. I don't have giant hands, but Sometimes I'm, I just feel like it doesn't fill out my hand like I would want it to. For my audio setup, speakers, I have PreSonus Iris E3.5. Uh, these sound pretty good. Uh, the low end is pretty bad because they're 3.5 inch speakers. So I also bought a PreSonus Iris Sub 8, which has been definitely making this setup sound a lot better when I'm using my speakers. Uh, for my mic, I'm using a AKG C414 ULSB. Um, funny story, I actually wanted to be a rapper at one point, so my dad bought me this mic when I got a really good report card in college, so that's why I have such a fancy mic. Um, for my interface, I'm using a Focusrite Sapphire 2i2, and then for my headphones, I have a Sennheiser Mass Drop HD 6XX. And to power those, I'm using a Shit Magni Heresy preamp. Um, I think the preamp is definitely needed. I thought I may be able to use the Focusrite to power my headphones, but it just wasn't loud enough. And then for my headphone stand, I just have this random headphone stand I got for Christmas off of Amazon. It's a Havit RGB headphone stand. Um, it has two USB ports, which is good when I want to charge something. Um, and yeah, I love it. It's got a little RGB. I was looking for something a little more minimal, but this works. For my monitors, I'm using two Dell 24 inch S2418HNs, the one in portrait and the one above my main monitor. These I bought like at least five years ago for about 175 bucks each. They're only 60 hertz, but I honestly like how they look and they have those small bezels, which is really clean. Uh, for my main monitor, I'm using a 32 inch Dell S3220DGF. This is a uh, 144 hertz 1440p monitor. Uh, the only problem is it's got a five millisecond uh, response time, but I, I don't notice it too much when gaming. Uh, I just really wanted a bigger monitor and this was on sale for either 300 or 280 bucks. So I thought it was a really good deal and I'm honestly liking it. Uh, I used to have a different orientation, but I kind of like the vertical mount. Uh, my neck doesn't hurt too bad if you're wondering. Uh, looking up, it seems kind of comfortable. For my desk, I have an Ikea Gurton, which I think may be discontinued, but this comes in like a raw wood finish that I stained myself. I think it was a dark walnut stain I bought from Home Depot. Uh, for the legs, I just bought some cast iron hairpin legs off of Amazon. The mouse pad is a Phase uh, Takashi Murakami uh, collab. Just added a little flavor for it. I was using a glorious all black mouse pad, but I switched it up. Um, I also have my computer sitting on a two-tiered shelf, or maybe it's three-tiered. I bought for like 30 bucks. Um, just something to get my computer up there, get some air flowing to it, and something that was cheap. And then for the lights behind the desk, I have some Govee light strips that are all Bluetooth. So yeah, this is pretty much everything in my setup. Uh, I've been using this for about two years now. If you guys have any questions on, uh, you know, cables, anything else I didn't get into, uh, let me know in the comments. If you want to see something on my uh, video setup, I'll get into details on that maybe in another video. I just recently upgraded to a Sony a7 III. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is great for working from home. I could do anything I really need to do, gaming, work, uh, video editing, whatever it is. This thing uh, really can't be beat for now, and uh, it was pretty affordable back in the day when I got it, and uh, don't know if I could have the same deal now, but hopefully things get better as time goes on. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and uh, have a good day.